Okay, good morning everyone, uh, welcome back to the soft skills module. Um, this is a part of the college to corporate program and uh, we have had uh, two face to face sessions till now and uh, this is the third one. So uh, welcome back. Um, I will in a few minutes I will try and get a sense of uh, how many people are uh, there at each of your centers and how you are doing so you have a chance to give some feedback. Um, but <clears throat> before we, so you know, so you just heard a presentation on um, Team Shunya and uh, the excitement that there is on campus because of this project and there are many such projects that are going on on campus. So um, as an introduction to the kinds of things that you could do at your own college campus. Uh, as well as you know how to participate across the country. So we will talk about it again uh, maybe from time to time I might bring you back to this particular presentation in the morning uh, so that we can underline uh, the need for collaborative work, the need for teamwork uh, which is as much a part of soft skills as um, technical or other things. All right, so um, I am just going to uh, because I am seeing you probably after five weeks or something. Uh, this is a part of the presentation that we had uh, shared right in the beginning in session one. Uh, let me just quickly go over it so that the context for what we are doing uh, becomes, uh, you know, um, we, we, we become present to the uh, context one more time. So it, this is about growth and development. And uh, while uh, we are calling it soft skills, Professor Fatak also refers to it as hard skills. But we were having a conversation outside just now and he actually said that uh, it is really life skills. Um, so uh, this is uh, our life, your life, this course is about you, it is for you, it is dedicated to you and we are here really to serve you. Uh, you are here because you have a commitment to your growth and development. So it is one thing that you are moving from college to corporate or college to life. Um, and uh, there are new things that are going to happen and till now you had parents or teachers who were taking care of things but now you would be working in an environment where you would be expected to uh, have certain responsibilities and fulfill on certain commitments. Uh, so that transition is what uh, this course and the work we are doing in this course is intended to fulfill. So you are here because you have a commitment to your growth and development so that you can continue to remain successful. We are here to honor your commitment, okay. So um, the value that is going to get generated from the course is going to be from your commitment. So whatever I say does not matter, you know, it is one time there was a friend of mine who was um, a coach to a very famous uh, tennis player and uh, I asked uh, the coach, I said, uh, what is so special about this person? And she said, um, this person, uh, when I'm coaching her, uh, no matter what I say to her, uh, she turns it into gold. So that's a mark of a great player. And I'm actually um, acknowledging you as people who are great players. And it doesn't matter what I say over here, you have the ability to turn it into gold, okay? So uh, that's where uh, the commitment from your side makes a big difference for the effectiveness of the work we do here. Um, clearly you will be creating a future of life itself and uh, you are ongoingly inventing yourself as a new person depending on what is needed and wanted so that you can keep reinventing uh, to fulfill on the immediate commitments and long term commitments that you have. Uh, so it is inside of honor. And uh, we request you to keep bringing honor. We are not here policing you. We are not here putting a gun on your head. We are not here for attendance. Uh, we are really here to honor you. So inside of this honor, you know, I request you also to continue to bring honor. Sometimes we tend to forget that why we were here. You know, it sometimes can even be, I'm here. Let me see what comes out of it. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way for this course. It, the way it works is that you keep bringing what you committed to and you keep honoring why you came here and of course I will keep reminding. Uh, so you keep bringing honor to the work we are doing together and to the relationship that we have with you. All right. So uh, with that 
having been said, I'll just uh, give you an overview of what we're going to do today. Uh, we will be um, we will cover today first the work that we're doing right now, which is review work from the first face-to-face -face session. I have a few more slides to share from there. Then we will actually get into three specific conversations. They're all interrelated. Sometimes you may not know which video I'm referring to, but that doesn't matter as long as you have uh, seen them all and you can integrate them all. Uh, so we will show you a video and then we'll follow it with discussions. Again, we'll follow, we show you another video, follow it up with discussions, and then we'll have a third video and then we'll follow it up with discussions. And somewhere, uh, I don't know the sequence, the rate at which things are going to go. So at 11 o'clock, we will take a 30 minute break and then come back at 11.30 uh, to continue working uh, with till one o'clock. Okay, so um, let's review uh, work from the first face-to-face -to -face session. So before we do that, I just want to check with my team as to what's the status of uh, the centers, uh, which centers are there. Let me say a big hello to everyone before we start on this. And uh, so can we go to one of the centers? Yeah. Hello, Amrita. How are you, Amrita? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, wave your hand. All right. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, somebody said hello. I just want to welcome you all back. Okay. So give a big hand. Give a big hand. All right. Yeah. Come on. Give a big hand. Yeah. Excellent. I can hear you very well. I can hear your claps very well. Thank you. All right. I'll go to the next center now. All right. Mapko Sivakasi. Hello, everybody. Good morning. If you can hear me, please wave your hands. Okay, very good. Please wave your hands. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Periyar Velour. Hello. Periyar Velo. Hello. Sounds rhyming. Velour. Hello. hello. Sir. Very good. Morning. Good morning. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. So uh, you can hear me okay? Yes, sir. All right, very good. So uh, I'm going to then continue uh, with the slides uh, and then we will stop at some point in time and have an interaction, okay? So let me continue with the slides now. Okay, so uh, we'll just take a few slides to review the work from the first face-to-face -face session. Uh, what we had intended is for you to access new worlds. So we, what we said is that what we have been made into, who we are today, uh, is a result of circumstances, uh, the environment we grew up in, whether it's family, friends, school, college. So we have, given the limited exposure, we've been able to only master a small fraction of the spectrum which is available to us as human beings. And the example we had shared was that visible light is only a small part of the larger electromagnetic spectrum. We knew how to walk at some point in time, we learned how to walk at some point in time and that was the only form of mobility that was available to us till we learned how to ride a bicycle and then some of us learned how to swim and some of us still want to learn how to swim. So if you still want to learn how to ride a bicycle or you still want to learn how to swim, please do it soon. Um, set up a schedule and learn to do it, okay. And, and then send me an email that you have learned swimming or you have learned how to ride a bicycle. It's important to keep expanding. Uh, and riding a bicycle, of course, most of us would have learned as a child. Uh, but some people didn't get a chance to learn how to ride a bicycle. So that's a good thing too. You should probably learn how to ride a bicycle. And swimming, of course, I still don't know how to swim. So I've made a few attempts, but you know, it hasn't worked out. But maybe I should recommit and go back and start swimming. So you know, even in just, for example, some, simple, something as simple as mobility, you know, we have not fully explored the spectrum that is available for us. Um, so, you know, there are many such things uh, about life and, you know, we want to be able to master as many as we can. Um, so this is another example we had used that, you know, you and I do not have the eyes to see ultraviolet or radio waves. Uh, and, but these are useful and they may become accessible to you and technology has made these available to us in some form or another. Um, so we continue to do that. There are many paths to access. Uh, we will explore only some of them in, this, in these sessions that we do. Uh, and uh, it's your journey then to take it further. Okay? So it's really an opening for you uh, to begin to, to, to continue to explore. You've already been exploring, so continue to explore. Uh, and for that particular session, we had said uh, what we would deal with is reading. Reading as an access uh, to new worlds. 
and uh, the first quiz that would have happened, uh, we had asked you to write down uh, some of the books that you have read and you know, discuss it with your partner. And uh, we had even said that there is a certain uh, practice that would be required. So, any great sports person, whether it is Sachin Tendulkar or it is uh, Messi or Ronaldo, if you guys like football, uh, they all are doing practice all the time. Okay? So, if they can be doing practicing and that is what gives them access to their greatness and their championship or their being champ them being champions, then you know uh, we have access to the same thing and we can continue to do that. So, any great human being would require practice and uh, the, the way I want to put it is um, breathing, what breathing is to living, uh, I am saying reading is to a great life. It is an ongoing thing, young, old, you know everybody would you know it is just fabulous to be reading. So, the emphasis was on reading and we would actually at that time in the first session we would ask you to make promises uh, to your partner saying that you would go to the web search for training on reading material and then uh, for first week you would put 15 minutes aside for reading, next week 30, 45 and then by the time in a month you would be putting one hour aside for reading in a day. And we would said that body needs food you need reading and that you is an uppercase, it is you not the body, but you the person who is you know, forever expanding the body at some point in time you will grow to an adult life and then your body stops to expand except your waistline might get increasing, but you know uh, there is no end to the development of the brain. So, it is like you can keep reading and that is the emphasis and just to make a little fun of it I have also said that um, if you are eating the kind of food that is not good for you, then you need to cut out on the junk food. Similarly, if you are doing the kind of reading that is not good for you, you should cut out that junk. Okay? And uh, we had asked you to make a promise to your partner uh, and exchange your cell phone numbers and emails so that you could support each other. So, now I am actually going to look at the integrity of the promises. Okay? Uh, and uh, just underneath that, I've written in a much smaller font, uh, which says "soft skills are born here." So what I'm intending to communicate with that is that no matter how well you intend to do something, uh, if you are not making promises and then our integrity about keeping the promises. Uh, there is absolutely you know soft skills might happen by accident, uh, but there is no fertile soil uh, where a seed can take root so to say. Okay? So, integrity is an important. So, first you make promises and then you keep the you, you hold you uphold the integrity of the promise you actually fulfill on the promise and uh, that is the first starting step so to say for soft skills. Okay? Um, so, now, let me just deal with the humanity in the across the country right now. Uh, so, if I were to say those who did not keep your promise and let me tell you which promise I am talking about, I am talking about this promise. Okay? The promise you had made that every day 15 minutes you would keep aside for reading in the first week and the next week 30 minutes and the next week 45 minutes and then 1 hour. So, most of you should if you kept your promise then you should be reading 1 hour every day. Okay. So, I am now looking to see if I were to ask you those of you who did not keep a promise please stand up in your centers. I can bet you that almost all participants across India would stand up at this time. Okay. So, I am going to stop for a moment and I want to go to the uh, live interaction uh, where I can discuss with you as to what is it that you uh, hear about what I am saying, is what I am saying accurate, not accurate, uh, I just want to get a sense of what is the fulfillment of the promise. Hello Amrita, how are you? Okay. So, would one of you please uh, get up okay. and uh, talk to me, I want to discuss with you about the promise. Yes sir, uh, we are requesting one of the students to interact with okay, you. Okay, let me, let me ask slightly differently, how many of you did not keep your promise? Raise your hand. If you did not keep your promise, please raise your hand. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, so, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know exactly what you want me to answer. So, could you please 
uh, repeat your question? Yes, absolutely. So the question I'm asking, and it is not to you just now, I will come to you, but I'm asking everybody in the room, and not just in Amrita, but at all the centers. The question I'm asking is, how many of you kept your promise? If you, if you kept your promise, fabulous. If you did not keep your promise, please raise your hands. Okay, very good. All right. So, thank you. Thank you for acknowledging it. Yeah. So, you know, that's our humanity. We make a promise and then we forget. All right. And now, I'm not saying that we are not committed. We are absolutely committed to our growth and development. But uh, if you come for a course in which you are committing or making a promise to do the training work and then circumstances come up and you forget that you had made a promise. And at that point in time, it was not just your responsibility for yourself, you were responsible for your partner as well. And uh, some way that partner is also forgotten and of course you are forgotten. So that's the reality of humanity right now. So would that person please get up so we can talk a little bit? All right. Um, I think that pers um, personally, I think that we cannot keep up our promises because we are not strong in our beliefs, you know. We, like, like for example, when we take resolutions for New Year, you know, we are we, after a month we are actually giving it, giving it up because we are not able to follow our words strictly and keep up to our actions because we are not strong in ourselves. Very good. So, uh, I have a question for you. Uh, because you, please keep standing so we can keep interacting. Uh, thank you. So, uh, yes. if you, if you, if you were to... What do you do in such a situation? Um, I personally think that instead of taking huge steps in your life, for example, um, if a person has, is not at all strong in math and he or she keeps failing in her subject, I think instead of saying I'm going to, I promise myself, I promise my parents that instead of saying that I'm going to get 90 in my end semesters, I think if you promise yourself that, okay, I would at least try to pass my exams this time. So in a way, you would also keep up your promise and improve yourself. So ultimately, you have to take slower, um, slow baby steps instead of taking a huge leap in your life. Okay, fabulous. Very well said. Okay. So what promise can you give me about reading, which would be a baby step? So since we speak about soft skills, um, I think at least we are, um, I don't think, especially now we are in our uh, third year undergraduate, uh, we don't really have time for stories. So instead of that, I think that if you um, read on documentaries and if you, even if by speaking on in terms of baby steps, if you speak in English with your teammates during college times, you can really improve your communication and thereby your verbal skills also. Okay, very good. So, uh, does that, uh, my question is, what baby step can you promise? I promise to improve my vocabulary by reading, by using, uh, by learning a new word every day. Okay, fabulous. And who did you make this promise to? Myself. Good. So, I just, do you want some coaching or you don't want coaching? I think, um, I, I think I would need some help, but also there, the, I can take care of some parts. But I would need some help for improving my vocabulary. Yeah, I, I have no interest in helping. I'm here to coach. So do you need coaching or you don't? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thanks for acknowledging that you uh, need coaching. Now, you will need coaching when you least want it. I would need coaching when I least want it. Yes. What happened? Talk to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I had a confusion in your question, so I was just clearing it. No, so, but clear, um, it, yeah, with, clear I, uh, it with, no, clear it with me. Um, personally, I think I need least coaching because I'm strong in my communication. But uh, maybe I'll pass this to someone else who think that um, they need coaching. No is that problem. okay for you? No, the question I'm asking is, do you need coaching or you don't? I personally... Uh, I think that I, I don't need coaching right now for myself. Okay, so who do you need coaching for? Um, maybe my fellow students, my classmates would need, but I don't know who in person would need it. Okay, no problem. So, uh, I'm only talking to you right now. So, do you, you clear you don't need coaching and that's okay. That's perfectly valid, not a problem. 
I, I think one of my um, strong, uh, my strength is communication. And um, I think that right now I need to improve on my technical skills rather than coaching for communication. All right. So let me say one thing and then I will stop, okay? So, uh, yeah. Okay. Has, does Sachin Tendulkar still have a coach? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Um, I mean, I, I, as I told you before, um, this, is my, this is what I think is my strength, you know. There is definitely room for improvement for me. So if I get a coach, I wouldn't say, no, I don't want a coach. I would need a coach. I would use everything that my college gives. Um, but since you put this, post it as a personal question for me, I just said what I felt. But maybe there are a few people over here who think that they need a coach and they need to develop their skills. I'm only oh, talking to yeah, you right you. now. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, you know, you, you, I, I think you have, a, you have a huge commitment for people around you and I just want you to know that I appreciate it. Okay. At the same time, uh, the question is for you and every time you say it's a personal question, I, know, I have no personal questions. I'm only dealing with humanity. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. If you say human beings are personal, well, then, you know, it's, 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 there's nothing personal about being human. We are all human beings, right? Why did you sit down? Keep standing. All right. Sorry. You know, I just want you to know that I appreciate you having this interaction with me. Uh, you know, and that you that you have the microphone in your hand is no accident. There is there is a certain something about you already that has you stand up, and you want to know that I appreciate it. So the conversation that you're having with me is actually representing. It's not personal. I, you, if you ask people around you how many people actually got benefited by this conversation, ask them to raise their hand and see how many hands are raised. Okay. If you were benefited, please raise your hand. See back, look at the back. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. So it's not personal. And my suggestion, why do you keep sitting? <laughs> Sit back, stand up. Uh, let's keep talking. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so... Um, I, I just want you to know that I have an invitation for you. Oh, um, where? <laughs> the, oh, the invitation is this. The invitation is that look to see where is it that you want to grow and find a coach. Okay? That's as much a part of the yes. soft skills that any human being would need. So you want to keep looking out for somebody who can coach you. Because you and I as human beings will never be able to see ourselves. Yes? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, excellent. All right, can you, everybody please give her a big hand. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Amrita. We'll go to the next center. All right. Walchand College, how are you? Walchand Institute of Technology, how are you? Welcome back. All right. Very good. So, how many people kept your promises? If you kept your promise, raise your hand. Raise your hands. Those who have started reading. 15 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes. Raise your hands. All right, no problem. No problem. Okay, and how many of you did not keep your promise? Proudly raise your hand. Okay, if you're a human being, raise your hand. All right, very good. <laughs> so, can I interact with one of the people, please? Good morning. Good morning, sir. All right, so did you keep your promise or did you not keep your promise? No, sir, actually, I did not keep it. Okay, very good. And what happened? I just want to confirm you're a human being, right? Yes, sir. Very good. Welcome to the world of being human. Thank you, sir. All right. Go ahead. You were saying something, please. Uh, sir, actually, we had started first um, by keeping the promise. We had a few weeks. Then later on, we started forgetting about it. Excellent. All right. We so, did not have to like about it. Very good. So, uh, forgetting is a very common thing that happens to human beings. Uh, you know, when the gun is on the head, uh, we are very, very efficient. And when the gun is not on the head, you know, we tend to forget and whatever is most important for that particular day or for that particular hour, we tend to do. And we postpone some of the things that we have committed to or promises that we have made to some other day. Someday, one day, it will happen. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So, first of all, I want to thank you for participating for the first few weeks that you did do the reading. I want to thank you for that. Thank you, sir. And who was your partner? Sir, Akansha. And how is Akansha doing? 
first few day i am reading reading but now i am forgetting to read and all right so you are pakka you also confirmed you are a human being right <laughs> yes okay very good and what's your akanksha what's your friend's name neema eema okay neema eem all right so both of you uh, your job was not about your own reading what was your promise our promise is to, uh, to uh, tell him uh, to tell her to read and every uh, every week we are uh, telling uh, every day we have telling her to read and we are keeping uh, all the records of both very good very good and what happened <laughs> first few week we are uh, uh, trying to read and but now i am uh, we are forgotten to tell each other to read are you, and are you in the same class yes sir do you do you meet with each other almost every day yes sir all right no problem so you started talking about other things but not about reading yes <laughs> I, i got it i understand okay welcome to being human okay very very human so thank you for being human all right big hand to you yes, yeah big hand everybody yeah very good thank you please take your seats thank you Yeah, thank you very much. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the slides now, uh, and these two interactions, I think, uh, they uh, must illustrate to you that either you will say, "Look, I really didn't promise. You know, I really don't need coaching, so I'm off the hook. Uh, I don't need to be, you know, held to account because I never really made the promise." Then, in that case, there's not much to do because you know, if you didn't keep if you didn't really want to make the promise and the promise was made because there was a gun on your head uh, then that's what i'm referring to as in the first few slides when i said you need to bring honor uh, because you really came here to get trained and uh, if you then decide not to get trained then there is a disconnect between what you said and now what you're saying so there's no integrity of the promise there's no integrity about the honor okay so i'm inviting you to keep looking at honoring your own commitment okay and as human beings we'll tend to forget that's why you need to have a partner so if i were to say those of you did not keep your promise please stand up or raise your hands then almost all participants across india would either be standing up or raising their hands now some of you who did keep the promise you probably kept it partially so you may may have done it 90% but not fully 100% maybe two days you skipped maybe you didn't do for 15 minutes you did it for 13 and a half minutes okay so if i were to take it like that even people who are saying they kept their promises i have a feeling that you know maybe there's something that got lost something that got missed and therefore the promise was not fully kept so for example um if i were to give you an example uh, and i need to do an interaction with them. let's go to goa college of engineering Hello Goa College of Engineering how are you can you see me I wave your hand if you hear me all right excellent so i want to talk to one person over there any one person all right good morning good morning sir what's your name soham soham yes sir okay very good so soham going to ask you a very simple question ready yes sir okay so you know a balloon right phugga gubara you know a balloon right i have a very simple question to ask how many holes can a balloon have one which one one from which you can fill air inside excellent and after you have sealed it how many holes can it have no sir no holes that's it so yes, if there is a hole in a balloon then the balloon does not have integrity yes sir okay fabulous that's all i'm trying to so thank you very much give a big hand to soham okay thank you soham so i was trying to illustrate that when you say that you kept a promise partially there's no partial promise it's either the balloon with no holes or no balloon yes sir okay good thank you very much soham big hand to you thank you sir all right thank you all right so i'm now going to move on to the next slide which is
Perumal College, how are you? Okay, very nice, very nice. So, someone, so how many people did not keep your promise? Very good, very good. Now, when I say very good, I, doesn't, I do not mean that it's a good thing to break a promise. What I am saying is, I am very happy that you are acknowledging that you broke your promise, okay? So, how many people, human beings, okay, can I interact with one of you? Okay, please, what's your name? Vandana. Okay, Vandana. So, can you please stand up? All right, excellent. So, Vandana, um, do you feel bad that you did not keep your promise? Not much, sir. You don't feel bad? Not much. Uh, so, do you uh, feel bad? We are able to complete only 30 minutes, more half an hour. No problem, that's okay. But what okay. I'm saying is, do you know that you did not keep your promise? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. And what? Do, how do you deal with it? We are trying to study still more, but I don't know how to overcome it. I'm, we will come to that. Don't worry about that. I'm just asking you, how do you deal with the broken promise? Uh, I feel bad. Oh. Unable to complete my, my promise. Re really? Are you saying it because I'm pushing you again and again or do you really feel bad? No, 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 sir. You feel bad? Yes, sir. Okay, so anytime you tell your friend that you will do something or you promise your parents that you will do something or you promise your teachers you will do something and then you don't do it, you feel bad, is it? Yes, sir. Okay, Absolutely. and then does, does the feeling bad, you feeling bad, does it... Does it fulfill the promise? No, sir. So, it's actually, you know, feeling bad. I mean, you know, that's all you feel okay. But then what do you do about feeling bad? Then what do you say? Next time, uh, I ah, keep the promise so that I'm able to... Ah, next time, next time. Right, very good. So, there is this, uh, you know, there is always tomorrow. Yes, sir. Very good. Now, do you know that that is a paradox? Uh, I didn't get you, sir. You, you know what a paradox is? No. Okay, paradox. How do I explain paradox? Because that's not a part of <laughs> So, paradox is something which is not, you don't know whether it is true or not true. So, is tomorrow true? No, sir. Oh, so we don't know whether there will be a tomorrow, right? Yes, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. So, the way we deal with it is that we say, okay, I will leave it to this paradox of tomorrow. Uh, we just live in present, sir. Sorry? If I keep the promise, okay, I will do it. Tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Please, and, sir, it's about the present. No, this, see, listen, when you, if you haven't done the, in the, in the present, which is in the, in the, in the past, which was the present then, then the, future is going to become the present and it's going to become the past and all, it's all a paradox then. Yeah. Okay. So, all I'm, I'm not trying to give you a hard time. All I'm saying is that human beings just put it away. We don't say that I did not do it. So, if you are asking me about development of soft skills, one of the first things that you need to deal with is if you give a promise. Either you keep it or you revoke it or you acknowledge that you didn't keep your promise. There's no, I'll do it tomorrow, maybe not, sometime, hopefully, when I have the ability, then at some point in time, I will do it. That's not the promise. Yes, sir. One, you have to say yes or no. It's only two options. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. So, there's no more paradox then. No, yeah, you become powerful because you're dealing with the reality of yes or no, no paradox. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. So, think about it and uh, let's look around to see how many people are equally confused. So, if you are clear, raise your hand. If you are confused, raise your hand. Yeah, so there are more hands going up for confused. Therefore, we will continue to show more slides, okay? Okay, sir. Vandana, I want to thank you very much for your interaction. Give a big hand to Vandana, please. Thank you, sir. Yeah, very, very welcome. Thank you. Great job. You're a perfect human being. Okay, please sit down. Thank you. Okay, so.
So if you feel bad about a broken promise, there is absolutely no power, there is no opening for growth, there is no opening for a larger commitment. Okay? So if you feel bad and you think that by feeling bad, a broken promise is now a promise fulfilled, that's not true. That's not true. Okay? So if you feel bad about it and that's it and you feel okay, it's done, then you know, I'm just saying like we will say for some things, some other things about life, this way of dealing with life is injurious to the health of soft skills. We're dealing with soft skills, so I'm going to say soft skills. Okay? All right. So, what do you do? If feeling bad is not going to do it, what is the way out? So, the way out is to actually restore the integrity. When you restore the integrity, it gives access to greatness for all of us as human beings. And this is something that I would really invite you to start practicing. Anytime you see a broken promise, you want to clean it up, you want to restore the integrity and you want to make a new promise. Without that, you will always give away your power. Your power will be somewhere else. You will not have the power, something else. Some circumstances will have the power but not you. If you give me reasons why you did not keep the promise, then it is the reasons which are running your life, not you. So if you have a broken promise and you want to access power again, a very simple thing to do is to restore integrity and that will give you access to greatness as a human being. Okay? So I'm going to stop again and ask you, what do you hear when I just said that? Okay. Periyar, Vellor, what did you hear in what I said about restoring integrity? Please stand up, one person stand up and interact with me. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Restoring integrity, I feel that uh, we should start by this term. As long as we felt, we should start to read, and by that time, we should take a book in our hand and start to read. Very days, good. 15 yeah. minutes per day. Yeah, very good. So, uh, I'm, you know, the example we are taking is that of reading. Okay. Uh, but what I am really referring to is, as a human being, what do we do with our promises? So if you look at how would you, if you give a promise, whether it is about reading or whether it is about doing some work or whether it is about meeting someone at a particular time, it does not matter. You know, we make these, life is made up of small, small, small promises and big, big, big promises. Okay? So there are different levels of promises, but how many holes? in a balloon, a big hole or a small hole, it does not matter. As long as there is a hole in the balloon, there is no integrity in the balloon. So any small promise also, how would you restore it? And if you restore it, what happens? You get your power back. So please talk to me, tell me what are you hearing. Someone else can talk also from Periyar, somebody else can talk also. And if it is not clear, please ask me. The idea of this interaction is so that it can be cleared. If it is clear for you, then it will be clear for all the other centers also. So please use this opportunity to clarify. You repeat the question, sir. Yeah, my question is, what is it that you and I can do to restore power, to restore integrity? Focus on our ideas. Okay. So, uh, I'm actually, it's not complicated at all. It's very simple. If you have broken a promise, what should you do? You should try to work on that promise. No, you, we, we are not making a new promise right now. We are looking at what happened to the previous promise. So if you have a the, broken promise, the, what should you do or what could you do? I try to restore that promise and try to complete that work. Yeah, but who did you make the promise to? Our partner. Very good. So, what should, who is your partner? Actually, he is leave today. No problem. So, did you will have to complete this with your partner. You will have to tell your partner, I did not keep my promise of supporting you. 
प्लीज फर्गिव मी यस ओके एंड देन वॉट हैपन्स वी बोथ राइट टू और डू दैट टू कीप द प्रॉमिस Will you try or will you keep it? We keep it. We excellent, will. excellent. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. And when your partner comes, say hello to him for me. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Give big hand for him, please. Big hand. Very good. Next person. Next. Okay. Amrita, I'm back. All right. So one person, please tell me what would you do when you have broken a promise? Hello, sir. Uh, Hi. Good morning. What's your name? Uh, so I'm Rohit. Hi, Rohit. Rohit, do you know the question? Um, if I, if I, yes, I got the question. Okay. So I will try to overcome it by, uh, like, uh, I can complete it what I've promised. Okay. So if I couldn't do it on time, I can complete it. Wh- why would you complete it? Why do you want to complete it? So I've done it, promise so. should should no, be complete no no you can say i don't i take back my promise so uh, the thing that i promised is uh, beneficial to me too so excellent excellent so you are promising wish. because you have some self interest right yes sir okay very good so if you have a broken promise who is the promise broken with who did you make the promise to now in that it was to me itself but uh, i had my partner with me no 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 you can't see that's where the problem comes when you make a promise to yourself there's a lot of cheating that happens okay that's yes, why sir. it's important to have a partner I, a little earlier i was sharing with somebody from uh, amrita and i had said that you know most great players need a coach yeah yeah so at this point in time i'm not talking about that i'm talking about your relationship with your partner you need partners also okay yes, so who will you are accountable for your partner so the yes, question, I am, sir. so the question yes, is did you keep your promise to your partner did you support him actually sir uh, i couldn't why i didn't why maybe we both were not responsible in keeping i not a problem so see i i'm promise. i'm really talking to only you right now only yes, you i'm only talking to you you are 100% responsible for your promise not 50 50 so the way see right now you will be feeling bad or you don't know what to do there's no power where you are and i'm committed that your power be restored that you actually can make a promise a new promise but you cannot make a new promise till you have cleaned up the broken promise so who's your partner yes, Sir, Vasu, Vasu Devas. Ask him to stand. Hello, sir. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So, uh, both of you uh, participated in some conspiracy. <laughs> so, both. You know, it's not. I'm, when I'm saying it to both of you, all human beings are in a conspiracy. So, my true. my my request to you is. uh please right now so vasudev you should tell Ro- rohit right yes sir okay so vasudev you should tell rohit that you i that you i did not keep my promise please forgive me tell him please forgive me no no first say i did not keep my promise did not keep my promise please forgive me i'm sorry for that please forgive me Okay now Rohit you need to do the same Sorry was then I couldn't keep my promise No no I I'm couldn't sorry. nahi I could not nahi I did not I did not keep my promise and I'm sorry That's all nahi please forgive me <laughs> Sorry <laughs> Uh Vasu please uh, forgive me Beautiful very well done okay very very well done very well very well done see it's 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 a it's a very it's a very great act of generosity when you ask for forgiveness see i was depending on you for my greatness and you were depending on me for my greatness for your greatness and both of us conveniently or not so conveniently circumstantially 
we forgot and uh, you know life could have been very different. Now, you can feel bad about it, but that does not help. But what both of you just did is very powerful. Now, you can say I promise again or I will not promise now. Both are okay. So, what do you want to do? We, we, uh, we would like to renew our promise and no, it's not try we. to keep it again. It is not we, you. Vasudev. I would like to renew it. Very good. So, ask him. Ask him. Give me another chance to actually keep my promise again. Yeah, uh, we both should. So, I would also like to uh, renew my promise. So. All right. So, we will uh, do it. Sir. I, you know, I just want you to know that both of you, in what you did just now, you absolutely touched my heart. This is, you know, for me, I am in right now. I, when you two standing over there making that promise, I am in the presence of greatness of humanity. So, make a promise to each other, keep that promise and if you break the promise, call up immediately and say, sorry, I broke my promise and make the promise again. Simple, isn't it simple? Vasudev, Rohit. Yes, sir, yes, sir. It is so simple. It, it did not even take one minute. Okay, anything you want to say to me? Thank you, sir. Uh, you are welcome. You are very welcome. Rohit? Thank you, sir. Thank you? Yes, sir. Rohit, you are a little shy huh, about saying thank you. <laughs> are you saying thank, thank you? Thank you, sir. Uh, it was a pleasure talking with you. Are you saying thank you? Yes, sir. I am th saying thank you. You are very welcome. You are very welcome. Okay, big hand, big hand. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. Wonderful interaction. Thank you. Okay, so uh, it's eleven o'clock now. Uh, let's take a break for half hour. Here's what I request you to do uh, during the break. Okay, you will be uh, having some. You know, you go to the bathroom. You have some drink of water. You will, you know, have some tea or something like that. Uh, but I'd really like you to be. Uh, focused on looking at how to clean up a broken promise. Okay? Please talk to your partner and acknowledge that I broke my promise with you. Please forgive me and after your partner has also said that, at that point in time you will have some freedom, some room to create a new promise. It does not have to be the same promise. So, like you know, somebody had said in the beginning that I have to take baby steps. If you have to take baby steps, that is okay, but then make a promise about those baby steps. Okay? So, we will stop here now. I will see you in exactly about 28 minutes from now. Thank you very much. Enjoy your break.